ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the third day of October, getting set for... A weekend, and that's always good news. Let's look out the window this afternoon. It's another sunny day across the state. There's a look at the uh, Birmingham Sky Cam from the top of the uh, Daniel Building. Uh, big buildings looking sparkling there. Down in Demopolis, looking right down the Tom Bigby River. I will be down there tomorrow evening at that very spot. Every year I uh, am the MC of the annual Miss Christmas on the River Beauty Pageant. I've been doing that the first Saturday in October for a long, long time. Always enjoy the drive. And uh, from Montevallo, how about the new Sky Cam overlooking the uh, beautiful campus of the University of Montevallo? Up on the water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon, uh, the pattern beginning to flip a little bit. Uh, you know, for a couple of days, we've had the uh, western ridge, the eastern trough. Things are getting progressive, and that's going to be flipping over the weekend. It will be under the ridge early next week. Temperatures not bad, uh, 70s over in North Alabama, 80s down south. Uh, those are as of late morning. I'm doing this update a little early today. And awfully chilly up north, 40s over parts of uh, Minnesota and the Great Lakes. Here's the QPF chart, the expected rain across the country, valid through Wednesday morning of next week at 7 o'clock. And this is suggesting nothing here. The better rains just off to the west, eastern Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, east Oklahoma, Western Missouri, southeastern Kansas. And uh, the latest GFS tried to bring that rain in here now Wednesday of next week, as you'll see as we go. In the tropics, we've got a couple of uh, disturbed areas. One that's around the Windward Islands and one over the Northwest Caribbean. Neither of those showing any signs of organization because of harsh upper air winds. But uh, next week, the upper air wind pattern might be a little more favorable for some action down there. So let's not forget this is hurricane season, and it will be that until the end of November. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. You can see the pattern beginning to uh, shift a little bit as that ridge moves in our direction. Big trough builds in off to the west. Uh, we'll have a sunny day, a warm afternoon. Sunday, same deal. Sunny with highs up in the uh, mid-80s, uh, getting a little warm for this time of the year. And Monday of next week, there you go, big trough off to the west. We are under a ridge, and the rain with that trough will be uh, west of here over uh, Texas, Oklahoma, and points north. Tuesday, the rain edges closer. That still looks dry. And look what the GFS does now. It brings in that uh, trough at midweek on Wednesday, the trough axis approaching the Mississippi River. And if this is right, we turn wet on Wednesday. But again, you know what I'm going to say here. Let's don't change the forecast based on one run. The run we showed you this morning brought the rain in Friday of next week. Let's take a look at a few more runs before we jump on that. Uh, Thursday, this run uh, moves the rain into East Alabama and Georgia. And Friday, a week from today, we go dry. So the consistency is not good in how the model handles the trough coming in. But it does look like there's an increasingly decent chance... We might see some nice rain in here toward the middle or end of next week, and let's keep our fingers crossed for that. In the end of the forecast, on the 19th, the flow goes more zonal across the country. Look at the cold air up north, 540 thickness line, well down into South Dakota and Colorado. That's going to be some big Rocky Mountain snows out there, and we'll keep an eye on that. Again, the air is awfully, awfully chilly up in parts of Canada and the uh, northern part of the great North American continent. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video of this afternoon. Notes on the blog. Brian Peters will have the updates this weekend. My next video will be Monday morning at 7 a.m. Don't forget to watch us on TV this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless.